Would you know how to assist a swimmer in distress? You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. This has been a fun summer on the water, on our reservoirs and our lakes, but there have been some tragedies out there that's really compelled us to make this video that might give you some tools and techniques to help you maybe assist someone who's in distress. I worked my way through college being a lifeguard, and since that time, I've trained hundreds of lifeguards. Now, of course, we're not gonna train you how to be a lifeguard, but I'm going to give you some tools and techniques that will help you be safe on the water. There are four words that I want you to remember. Reach, throw, row, and go. If someone is out in the water and they need some assistance, the first thing that you want to do is to reach them. Our immediate reaction might be to jump in and help them, but that means that there's now possibly two victims that are going to be in the water. Many struggling victims, maybe a weak swimmer, may have just fallen off the dock, which is not uncommon, and you could easily just reach them with your paddle or a branch or something that's close. When I'm reaching with my paddle, I like to extend the T-handle to give them something to grip onto. But also remember, they're going to give it a good pull. So don't get leaning too far into it that they're gonna pull you in. Keep your balance back, be able to retrieve them. Today we're shooting on a commercial dock. And many commercial docks have a shepherd's crook there available so if someone falls in, you can easily reach them. Let me show you how that's done. The proper technique for using a shepherd's crook is to extend it past the victim, bring it down low, up to his armpit, and then spin it, and then catch him under both arms and pull him in. So we're going to stay on shore, try and reach them. The second option is to throw something. It could be as simple as a rope, or it could be a throw bag that's made specifically for that purpose. I'm gonna show you how to use that. Maybe you just have a coil of rope. I'm gonna take this little knot, put it behind my little finger, and then split the coil so that I use the weight of half of the coil of rope to throw. We're just gonna throw this down the dock so that you can see the distance that you can get. With my left hand, I'm holding the coil, and I'm going to point my hand at the victim. My right hand is going to throw the whole coil. Here we go. So you can see you get a lot of distance by throwing half of the coil. Here's a throw bag that I really enjoy. It's made by Lifeline. You just pull it out. It's got a loop already there. I can just turn that in like that and hook it onto my wrist. And I'm ready to throw. Super simple to use. Hook the loop on your wrist, point towards the victim, underhand throw. Easily done. If you miss the victim, then you have a technique of pulling your hand downward, which will give you more grip as you're pulling your line in. And don't worry about trying to pack the bag again for the next throw. You just want to drop it at your feet, bring it in. And of course, now it'll be full of water and you just grab it again and throw it again. Here's another option, something as simple as a cooler. Many people have them in their boat or on the dock and they never really think, there's something that can float. I can throw it out to the victim. The third option would be to row or to paddle. So we've got our canoe in the background here. We could easily put that into the water, paddle out and help the victim that way. I always go with support. I'm going to take a life jacket with me. The final option is to go with support. A lifeguard will always have a rescue tube that they can take out and extend to the victim. You probably won't have that, but you probably will have a life jacket. Make sure you have it on, and if you've got an extra, you can take it out for the victim. It's worth the extra few seconds to prepare yourself as you go and try and help someone else. Remember, the most important person in a rescue is the rescuer. Make sure that you're safe so that you can assist someone else. We hope that you never find yourself in that situation where you're needing these techniques. We hope that this has been interesting to you, and we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.